Hello Taurians, welcome to your April 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. So what we're going to do here, Taurians, is we will divide the video in sections um, so it's easier to convey the messages. We will look at your overall energy for the month of April. Before we then look into your emotional core, your emotional core is about um, whether there's love coming in, whether there's healing that needs to happen, that sort of stuff, before we then finally move on to opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of April 2023. I know the whole table is shaking, that's because Molly is walking on it, but it is the nature of having cats, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I'm going to reshuffle the cards here, or shuffle the cards, and then we'll go and look at your overall energy, or card already filled out, um, and then we'll have a look at your over, overall energy for the month of April 2023, let's have a look. Molly. Hmm. Interesting. So, when it comes to astrology, every sign has a rising sign that can be determined about uh, on on where the houses were um, when you were born, and the ascendant. Is, is, is an energy that can be seen like a best buddy. Um, someone who is always there, but someone who also pushes you a little when you're not looking at the, at the, at the, um, the teachings you should be looking at. The point the guides are making is, in your over energy, you have the ascendant quite strongly, coupled with the south node. And the south node is your karma and everything that you bring in from a previous life. So when you come here, we all come here sort of semi-burdened because we are responsible for our ancestors uh, for about seven generations. So the point is, whatever they have gone through um, that hasn't been able to be released or learned or taught um, will come to you. <clears throat> and the energy here for the month of April, for the sign of Taurus, is to understand that because you are the bull, and you can also be the bull in the china shop, um, you have a very strong opinion on stuff and you have very strong convictions. And while this by default, by default serves you very well, in April you are being asked to share how you're feeling, share your thoughts, share your worries, your fears, all of this. Find someone that you can offload to and that you can literally... Um, confide in <clears throat> and talk. So your your task for this month is is to reflect, is there someone like this in my life? Or am I the lone warrior here? And this is important because Taurus is very much about family. So if you are looking at your family settings and all you really got is yourself, then there's something clearly off. And what the guides are saying is, it's time you change that because the south node is that part that also... <clears throat> has a negative connotation to it. So you will this month respond to um to the to the feeling of maybe being a bit abandoned or, or not being fulfilled. So the overall energy here for Taurians is literally to be reflective and in a way non-forgiving when people are not giving you what you give them. Right? Okay? I have to say that it doesn't feel like it is going to be super difficult. It's just um it's a general thing. You know, it's like, how come I give so much when, when it isn't returned? So that's sort of the energy that I'm getting. In any case, let's have a look now at your emotional core and see what we got for you. Okay. When it comes to your emotional core, the emotional core is sort of the area where, where we have a look uh, whether or not things can, can go <clears throat> or um, what we can change with regards to how we're truly feeling to achieve a, a more harmonious state within any relationships, especially love relationships, that we have. <clears throat> and your job is to be Taurus, which you are. In order for you, and again it goes into the overall energy a, a little bit, this is the month where you're asked to look at your, at your current relationship or how you manifest a new one and have an authority on it. You say what you want to happen. You manifest what you truly want, no ifs or buts. 
right? Really important when you when you are an, 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 I can't even pronounce that an authoritative figure, which is also Taurus energy. You are very you are very strong. People pay attention to you. You also make perfect counselors and perfect teachers and the likes because people will pay attention to you. And what I'm getting here, <clears throat> with regards to your so-called love life, if that makes sense, because I'm not getting a lot about release. It's about you know, where am I in the scheme of things with the element of feeling loved, if that makes sense. Um, and, and the energy here is clearly saying, um, let me look at it, let me reflect on it, and then claim the changes. That's really, really important. So that is your emotional core. And now lastly, we look at your opportunities as they come to you in the months of April 2023 for your sign of Taurians. Let's have a look. What's going on with opportunities? Okay, so opportunities, the Etorians, are not super abundant and, and some of them, so new opportunities, have not quite yet made it into being manifested. And the energy flows, the energy flow here is about understanding. I don't really have to worry about opportunities because I, meaning you, Torians, know who I am, I know what I can do, and maybe you should learn to diversify rather than being swamped by people who don't do the work and then you do it all for them, if that makes sense. So that's why I'm getting strongly here. <clears throat> so it's about sort of work-related energies here. Understand that that you have a, a big toolbox, you know who you are, you know what you're doing, you, you have a lot of experience and expertise, use it. Don't go into like, oh my God, I can't do this energy, right? And understand that if there is, or if there are areas where you feel like, hmm, I would love to do this, but I don't quite know how, then just allow yourself to go for it. That's the whole idea. <clears throat> Especially when you are Taurus and you, and you are, um, the, the depiction is the bull. Um, you can literally just walk through through areas that are otherwise blocked, right? So don't be afraid of doing things you haven't done before. But this month in April, for Torians, really important to look at maybe what I'm doing doesn't serve me because I, I do not change my perception or my perspective on it. And then learn to diversify. Dear Toreans, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you all next month. Bye-bye.